you know. A lot of time, people that are not real chefs are afraid of hot oil. They want to put the chicken in the oil while it's still cold because it won't pop up on them. You know what I mean? I'm a dog. I go for the hot oil. Okay, let's pour this oil. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is uh, cooking today the tomato stew with chicken and shrimp along with rice on the side. I've been cooking this food since I was a little boy. The thing about growing up in Liberia, you have to learn how to cook or you won't eat. Okay, so first I have to do, I'm gonna wash the chicken because I don't know where the chicken has been. You know, these chickens have been roaming the streets of COVID-19. I have no idea where they've been, so I'm gonna rinse them off, make sure the you know, chicken has wings. Uh, once in a while I go to the restaurant and I order buffalo wings. I have no idea buffalo have wings, I just don't just chicken have wings. But it's not about chicken or buffalo, it's about me cooking this food for five minutes, which is gonna take longer because Five minutes in Africa means 30 minutes. In Africa, everything is late. Okay, meat is clean. Now I put them in a pot. I have to boil them once again, you know. And I know they say the more you cook food, the longer you cook it, the less nutrients is left. Kiss my eyes. You have to boil these and cook them very well. Make sure all the diseases kill the COVID away from the chicken. Pour some water. Boil these for a good few minutes. Now, the water I'm gonna boil this chicken with, this water is gonna be part of this whole tomato stew. So I can't put too much water because it's gonna turn into a tomato soup. We don't want soup, we want stew. Okay, so let's put this here. Uh, we have seasoning salt is what I usually use. I don't like to put salt in my, in my food. I like to use seasoned salt. I just put enough in there so I can still get that taste. I know, don't worry, I'm not trying to kill nobody. Turn this stuff on, this is uh, very... There's some, there's some rich stuff here. When you made it, you get stuff like this. All my broke friends still have to like this stuff. I made it. All right, while it's on, you never stop cooking. What I learned from my village, you never stop cooking. It's always something to do in the kitchen. Sometimes people put stuff on the stove and they go sit and watch television and they you know the house is burning down. Now with me, I'm always find something to do. While that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up the onions. If I start crying, it's not like I miss my girlfriend after this is just crying because the onion is affecting my eye. I don't cry at all. I'm cutting the onions. I only need about half of onion. This is a very big onion. In America, everything is big. Where I'm from, the onion is a little bit smaller. So I usually cut the whole thing, but this is a big steroid onion, so I'll leave me half of it. I like onions, but not that damn much. Maybe I'll go ahead and mix up the tomato sauce and the paste together. So this is the tomato sauce. I need a tomato sauce, and I mix up sauce and paste. I don't like to use just paste because I've been making ketchup and chicken. I don't want ketchup kitchen so I mix and I just only use just the sauce because I'm not making spaghetti sauce. I want a combination. The tomato paste is a little bit thicker so it, and it has a, a more flavor and the sauce is more thinner but you put them together it makes a good couple. So put the rest of this paste in here with the sauce. All right um, let me mix those together. There we go. Mix them up nice and even. Take a couple of seconds to stir it. Now you add the onions to the tomato sauce. You know, so let me mix it all up together. Uh, uh, nice. I'm gonna throw some seasoning salt in this tomato paste as well. I know you're trying to figure out how much of this to add. You just add it in till you feel like it tastes right. So I will add it in, I'll taste it and see exactly if I need to add more. Because the, the seasoning salt I have in that water is just good enough for that water. So one, if I add this in without seasoning, it's gonna die, it's not gonna be enough seasoning for both of them, so everybody get their own seasoning. I'm like, Oprah, you can have a seasoning, you can have a seasoning, you can have a seasoning, you can have a seasoning. So let me taste it and wish me luck, okay? I 
a little bit more. Glad I tasted it. I would have screwed it all up. Okay, we're good now. Okay, this is low below a heart attack. A little bit more. No, don't, don't worry. Trust me, it's just, we're going to be alive after we eat this. Okay, don't let this fool you. It's just seasoning salt. It's not that much salt in seasoning salt. It's more seasoning. It's seasoning salt. And seasoning salt than salt. Did I make any sense at all? Well, while the chicken is almost ready to be fried, it's time to put the oil in a frying pan. Now, it's very important how much oil you put in here because whatever amount of oil you put in this pot, it's the same oil you're going to use to cook this stew with. Let's make this oil oil very nice and hot. Put this on. Put this heat on. Africa. Bingo. It'll be hot in a couple of minutes. By then, chicken gonna be out, ready to be fried. Let's get this chicken out of here. All right. All right, where's my little... Put my shield. Okay. Let's see how hot this oil is. So far, so good. Okay. All right. Okay, it's not as bad. Okay, nice. We did it without dying. Let me cover it up because sometimes steam will help this cook faster as well. Bring this guy closer because now my attention is on you. Just put this in here. Tomato stew, it's ready to go in, into the big pot. Let's go, here we go. Here we go. Another 3.8 minutes. It'll be time to flip this chicken over. Flipping the chicken over, so we get both sides nice and cooked. Let's cover it back up. In five more minutes, I'm gonna put them together. I'm not inviting nobody over, so I'm gonna make this enough for me Rice is being rinsed. Cover it up. Bingo. All right, chicken is ready to go in the sauce. Okay. okay, let's mix it up together. Give these guys time to cook together. All right, why are we doing that? This little meal could feed 10 American sized people. Okay, that's an average of 210 pounds each. Where's the spoon? Stir it up. Okay, we have chicken, the shrimp, onions, everything's together, okay? Mmm, yummy. That is nice and sticky. Okay. I'm not that greedy, so I'm gonna grab just one big wing with some shrimp. Make sure it's enough sauce. It's kind of hot. I need to be careful. I had 32 teeth at one time. Perfect. This is my specialty. Tomato stew with chicken, shrimp, and rice on the side. I know this cooks in five, but today I had to put my special love and attention to it. And I had to make sure it was cooked, so it went a little bit over. Maybe 40 minutes over, but who cares? It's ready, it's good, and you'll eat this without going to the bathroom for a couple of days. Thank you for coming to my kitchen.